So I thought today I'd give you a quick look around of what's going on because things are growing so fast now that I think before long you'd be like, where did that come from? How is, how is he planting that out? So let me just give you a little look around. So as I've mentioned, everything is desperate to go out now. Obviously I've taken one third of this now and planted it outside, but things are starting to merge. All the beans are coming up, the French beans. I'm really happy, I'm really happy. The sunflowers, all the flowers and the extra lettuces for the next successional so The potatoes for the SSPC 2023 for Digwa Green Fingers. They're coming up, they've got to be potted and put into buckets now. The runner beans are about four foot up the canes now, and I'm so happy with them. The strawberries are all flowering now, and before long, there'll be loads of fresh spring strawberries for me to snack on at the plot. The salads are ready for picking now. I've taken some, but I will take some more now today, but I'm really happy that they're all looking, they're all looking fresh, lush, and green. The asparagus is all shooting up now, and I'll leave these to furring up for this year so that they get a good strength. So I'm gonna to have to put a support around here before long because they'll go up about six, seven feet and you don't want the wind damaging those prongs when they're in there, you know, if blowing in the wind. So that'll be my next job to make sure that they're nice and safe and strong so that they strengthen up the, the crowns. The tulips are still going strong and I'm so pleased with them. They're just carrying on. There's a few that are going over now, but before long, this will be full of all the summer the summer flowers. The potatoes after I showed you the other day, they're looking okay. There's a little bit of frost damage, but nothing major. They've all bushed up now, and before long I'll be harvesting some of these already. So they're looking grand. Now it's not very often I show you a plot tour because I think I give out quite regular content. So I normally, you, you see the progress, weekly anyway, but today I thought I'd just give you a little look around at what's going on, and also what I've got planned for the back of this plot. So there's still a pile of manure under here and that will be filling up the next project I've got. So behind you, there is a shed over here. I need to dismantle that, reclap the sh other shed with it, sort out this area. It's a good eight foot by 30 foot length of plot that's not being used. So I figured not waste that space, you know, it's there, it's not doing nothing. So I thought if I put a few raised beds in, anything that I have that I just don't, I don't want to cull, the seedlings, yes, but if they're mature plants, it would be such a waste. So I think I'm going to put them at the back of the plot, let them carry on, do their thing, and then hopefully I'll have a bonus harvest. The fig tree is starting to leaf up now, and these little figs here, the ones that look like little peas, they should be this year's fruit. Fingers crossed. So this bed here was already rotting away when I first taken over this plot you know, a few months ago. So I'm thinking about bringing that beam down to the edge here and then changing this into another area of different raised bed, maybe some metal raised bed there as well. But as you can see, there's already a, a dock coming out, a dandelion, and there's weeds already in this bed. And I weeded this again last week. And, and in the onions as well. I weeded it all last week and look at it already again. This definitely needs to come to no dig. Right, let's pop down to the grapevine garden. I'll show you all what's going on down there because Boy, has it changed a lot. Give me love, give me all your love, all cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way. Don't know. So I'm at the Grapevine Garden, the cabbages are looking great. There is a few tiny little holes where the slugs are coming in. I'm gonna have to sort that out definitely. But they're looking healthy, they're all standing up really straight. The red cabbage. The Swedes, God, look at those Swedes. And the kohlrabi, green kohlrabi, red kohlrabi, all the shallots, walking onions and normal onions. I just banged them all in this bed this year. I just planted out three kales for Will's channel, the Flying Gardener, go take a look at his channel. They're all out now and that was for his Kalec Crazy um, 2023. There's my little posh jars, look, lime and manure, lovely. They'll now stay in this bed because these hoops are a bit higher with the giant swede and the cauliflowers. Again, a little hole there on that leaf. I'm gonna have to have a look at this and maybe try and get some eggshells and put them around these beds and things because I don't want these devoured. I've also brought some coriander, you know, the robin cilantro down, some sweet peas and the extra 
um, spring onions and also some of the nasturtiums. So they're all gonna go in now as well. The potatoes, the last couple of days, the Swift and the Charlotte are starting to show their little heads now. I'm really happy with them. The shallots are doing really well again in this bed. Hopefully I'll have a nice harvest of them and also the spring onions that I put around them as well. In here, my onion seedlings that I grew from seed. These are the Bedfordshire Champion and the Red Baron. They're looking okay, they're looking okay. A few little weeds, oh monkeys. And also the beetroot. The apple blossom on this tree this year is a, it's in abundance. So I'm hoping I'll have some decent apples this year. And also some plums and some cherries, fingers crossed. This bed has self-seeded a pile of poached eggplants. I am going to dig these out now today, move them all around the place so that I've got them spread out well. They do self-seed. There's also some blooming raspberries coming up by the looks of it. These onions, are they looking okay? I might use them as spring onions, we'll see. The garlic and the strawberries looking okay as well. It does need a little bit of a weed. I've netted them over now because I don't want the allium leaf miner in here. I've ordered a new net for this one. But yeah, they're all netted. I didn't want to do this, but before long, this structure here will be full of runner beans and I cannot wait. So I made a bit of a schoolboy error. I planned, like last year, having a sweet pea teepee somewhere up here. But as you can see, all the brassicas are in now and I have no room. So I think the only thing I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to sacrifice two of my garlics here and build a teepee around it and I've got plenty of garlic, so I'm not worried about it. I will transplant it, and if it works, it works, but if not, I'm not worried. I've got loads and loads of garlic, but I'm gonna have to put a teepee. I can't have the front of the grapevine garden without a teepee. I've still got a pile of projects that need to be done in the next couple of days. The weather's looking great. I've got a few days off, so fingers crossed, I'll tick off those boxes, and this should be okay then. It should be all all right. There's a few messy areas, not too messy, but little things that I need to take to the tip and also improve two of the beds. But I'm running out of space, but it's the way it goes, isn't it? I'm Danny and this is the Grapevine Garden.